So, you're probably wondering why I'm sitting on a diamond throne right now. You're also probably wondering why there is a gigantic ring of sugarcane around my skyblock island in the background. You're also probably wondering why there's an enchanting table with only eight bookcases. And you're probably wondering why I'm even playing skyblock to begin with. Well, it all started a long time ago in a hub world far, far away. So recently, I went ahead and logged on to the Lifeboat server, which I have not been on in a while. And once in the server, I went to pay a little visit to their free-to-play Skyblock game mode, which I had experimented with quite a bit in the past. I then came across this sign that says the Skyblock is now out of beta. This means that all the islands have been reset and the official leaderboards are now up. Taking a little visit to the leaderboards and we find that the top 10 players all have 1 billion experience. Now you may be asking me, hey Psycho, why would you want to become a billionaire and get all the fame and glory of being on the global leaderboards? And to that I say, because it is fun. Getting that many coins is going to involve creating numerous different types of farms or strategies that will allow us to acquire and sell bulk items. We're gonna have to get a lot of items, we're gonna have to get a lot of items really fast. So basically, you need to be clever, you need to be efficient, and you need to be up for a challenge, and I most certainly am. So, with that being said, stick around because this is the very first episode in Skyblock Billionaire, a one-of-a-kind show by me, Psycho Sibs Gaming. So basically, for those of you who are unaware, you can earn experience by earning coins. So coins and experience are essentially the same thing, but when you spend the coins, you don't lose the experience. So this means that if I want to get 1 billion experience, I'm going to have to get 1 billion coins. So ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to become a billionaire. So here we go into a brand new island. And now we get to play Skyblock and start with nothing! Woo! Let's see here, we got zero experience, 500 coins. I mean, it's this, this is gonna be tough. Okay, somehow we are going to turn all of these items into 1 billion coins. So after surveying the items in my chest, I went about doing the usual things, such as chopping down the tree to get some initial wood. I also went ahead and started to build a cobblestone generator, which in this skyblock generates any type of ore. So this is a great thing to just sit here and mine over and over again all day long. I purposely place it right in front of the bedrock so that my pickaxe will never accidentally damage anything. And as you can see, only a few mines in and we have our very first diamond. An extremely exciting moment. Diamonds sell for 20 coins, so keep that in perspective when we're trying to hit 1 billion. After that, it was just a little bit more mining. Once I got enough iron, I went ahead and made a hopper because placing a hopper underneath the ore generator is the best idea ever. You can just continuously mine the ores and they will plop right into the hopper and get sent directly to your chest. The one important thing to note about this game mode is that there really isn't any redstone. Like, there is redstone dust, but there's no redstone component, so you can't make too many automatic things. Hoppers is pretty much as far as you're going to get. Also, if I wasn't clear earlier, I am currently playing this on the Lifeboat Network server, so this is on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. There's a very limited amount of servers, and this is one of two that has Skyblock, and this is the only free Skyblock as of right now. So if you're on console, or you're on mobile, or even just on the Windows 10 edition of the game on PC, I would highly recommend checking this server out if you want to play a good Skyblock. I've been playing it for quite some time now, and I've had having a lot of fun. So after crafting myself a nice diamond pickaxe and creating, well, uh, just a small tree farm, I decided it was probably best if I set up some goals for myself so I actually knew what I was doing on my quest for 1 billion coins. So here we have my temporary goal board. The first goal, make a mega sugarcane farm. Now, if you guys are not aware, sugarcane is by far one of the most lucrative sources of coins in the game. 
it grows super, super quickly and can be sold for quite a bit of coins. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a mega sugarcane farm in a giant ring around the entire border of this skyblock area. And that should give us enough money to go ahead and fund some of our other other projects that will eventually go here until we get to step Z. Yes, we switched from numbers to letters. Step Z. Profit. So now I'm going to go ahead and do some mining, get some more resources, and start building that giant ring of sugarcane farm around our entire skyblock island. Time to switch back into third person narration mode. So here's a little tutorial on how selling items works and how you actually get coins. You can open up this shop menu and then just plop all your items that you want to sell into this bulk selling category, exit out of the screen, and then boom, it says, oh, do you want to sell these items for blah, blah, blah coins? Yes, absolutely. And now we have acquired 872 experience as well as 872 coins, only 999 million plus to go. After I did that, I went back to mining to get some more resources to build the giant sugarcane farm as well as just to get some more items to sell. So you can buy items in the shop as well as sell and we're going to need a lot of materials to build this giant sugarcane farm. Speaking of which, here I am placing blocks on the outskirts of our skyblock island. The island is a 128 blocks by 128 unless you have the VIP pass which costs money for a... So if you're wondering what happens when you fall off, like me and my careful footwork just experienced, basically you don't lose any of your coins or your XP or your items, but what you do lose is all of the experience that you've earned from mining and killing mobs. So this is the XP used towards enchanting. So anyways, I hop back onto my island and boom, the complete outer perimeter is done. Now if you're wondering if I did place a block on the outside of this perimeter, it would just disappear. So it's actually a good idea to make a perimeter like this. And also, apparently at this point, mobs started to spawn. So they didn't spawn earlier because the game is nice to you and doesn't drop creepers on your head in the first couple nights. But now they're spawning, and they're spawning everywhere because my gigantic ring of cobblestone is not lit up. So I'm just going to place some dirt blocks here to protect it. Taking a sneak peek at my treasure chest here, we've got a decent amount of loot from sitting there mining for minutes upon minutes. I also built an enchantment table so we can get some unbreaking and efficiency on our pickaxe, but books are so expensive. It's ridiculously expensive to get books, but I went ahead and made a bunch of bookcases anyway. So I've got enough to get an efficiency to pickaxe, which is perfect because I upgraded the design of my ore generator. So now it actually produces two sets of ores back to back and I can mine both of them through at the same time with a diamond pickaxe. It doesn't necessarily have to be efficiency one or two but I prefer it to be um, and as you can see twice as fast gets you a lot of resources as well as a lot of cobblestone which is perfect because now we have to build our giant sugarcane farm and guys I have absolutely no idea really how I'm going to design this thing. I have an idea because I'm going to have to place down a lot more slabs just to be able to hold water um, next to the dirt as well so yeah wish me luck here hopefully it's actually worth it and this whole thing's not a bust because I just realized that sugarcane only sells for five coins when I'm pretty sure it used to sell for 15 so this could be a very sad moment we may have to make a mega farm later on so after a while I managed to populate the entire ring with another layer of cobblestone as well as a full ring of dirt so now we actually have enough space to place water in between and then we can grow the sugar cane on the dirt so basically what i did is just place ice and run around the whole ring you can see that only one half slab on the outside is enough to keep all that water in and this should be perfect i mean the only thing left to do is really put up some walls otherwise when we break the sugar cane it is just going to disappear into the void but I might as well place some sugarcane down now since sugarcane is expensive. So if we can at least get some of this planted and starting to grow, then maybe we can harvest it and get the full ring planted because it's like six stacks of sugarcane, which is a lot. Also, th there are so many mobs. I need, I mean, my dirt blocks are out, are working fine right now, but I definitely need some sort of gate. Please go away, go, go away, go away, go Get off, get off my skyblock, how are you even up here? Adios, see you next time. 
So now I finally have the entire ring done. I decided to go with half slabs on like uh, every other block on the wall, which it looks pretty cool. Um, the only thing left to do is to place a front wall on it, which I believe I'll do with some stained glass. So I think I have a good idea for how this is going to look. I'll just place a darker green stained glass in the bottom. And then I'll place some lighter ones here. And then I'll kind of sandwich it between the darker green on top. Let's go take a look at this. Is this going to look good? Yeah, yeah, that definitely looks good. So we'll just put this around the entire side to keep all the sugar cane from falling out. And as you can see, even though it's nighttime, we have got the full ring all the way around. So the problem is it doesn't exactly produce as much coins as I'd hoped for. Uh, I mean, this is really easy. You can get like an easy three or four thousand with zero effort. Just run around it real quick and you get all those coins. But we are definitely going to have to create bigger and better methods. I've got a few brainstormed up, but it should be pretty exciting. So apparently there are some pretty neat things you can purchase with mine coins back in the hub world. Ooh, and I'm going to be honest, guys, I, I didn't even know this existed. An ore generator, they, they have a diamond ore generator. This thing just constantly spawns diamonds. I feel like I feel like I need that. I, you know, it, is it cheating? Yeah, I feel like it's not cheating. I mean, it's in the game, and I'm a YouTuber, right? I can spend money on video games. You know, I'm not going to buy the minions. I'm not going to buy the VIP pass, but man, if I can just if I can just get infinite diamonds, I feel like I feel like don't unsubscribe, please. So, I may have gone ahead and purchased the diamond ore generator bundle. So, it comes with the diamond one, the gold one, and the iron one. And here's the thing. This is going to make my AFK session so much more useful. However, I'm going to have to figure something out here because the block spawns on top of that terracotta ore generator, so you can't put a hopper under it. So we're going to have to work this thing a little bit in order to make this AFKable. So currently, this is the best design I could come up with for an AFKable ore mining session. Um, basically what happens is when you break these blocks, they should hopefully jump off into the hoppers and you can actually mine all three of them at once because it takes a little while for the ore to pop back up. It's not as fast as the cobblestone ore generator. So here I'll just kind of show you um, and just get my pickaxe, just sit here. Again, I have the bedrock on the back, but as you're going to see, sometimes the items pop off and land in the middle, which isn't ideal. They'll just sit there forever until they despawn. So I hate, I hate when diamonds just sit and despawn, but in reality, this is getting pretty good results. It's, it was getting me around 45 diamonds every 20 minutes. Actually, maybe more than that. So, as you can see, just from a little while, I got my little mini diamond throne here. You saw that the diamond throne gets a lot bigger, but this is actually going to end today's episode now. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Next episode, we're going to build a base and we're going to make a mega mushroom farm because uh, the sugarcane farm is not profiting right now. At least not profiting enough to get us 1 billion coins. So that's going to end today's episode, guys. Let me know what you think of the series. Drop a like on the video. Drop a comment below if you are enjoying the series. If you don't enjoy the series, go away. Alright, guys. See you next time. Game on, gamers.